All right, so we now have the skeleton. So what we need to do is actually bind it to our geometry and then create the rig. So it's pretty simple. Select the highest in the hierarchy. So you can just click on any joint until you get to the center. Um, shift select the geometry. And then you're going to go make sure on rigging. And we're going to go um, skin, bind skin. Hit the option box. And what we want to choose is joint hierarchy, geodesic voxel, classic linear, interactive, uh, distance. Okay, so just to quickly go over this, joint hierarchy means it's going to select every joint from the top joint down. Uh, it's going to go all through the joints. So if you do selected joints, it's only going to do the specific joint, which means that the it would only be bound to the specific. It would everything would be bound to that one joint. Object obviously goes through ho ob object hierarchy. Um, these are different um, algorithms in order to set the default um, weights of the um, binding. Um, so closest distance just does vertice, you know, the, the closest distance of a vertice to a joint. Uh, closest hierarchy takes into account the hierarchy as well as the joints. Heat map was an algorithm. It was like a plugin that they installed uh, that they bought out and they incorporated into uh, Maya. Uh, Geodesic voxel is the newest one, which basically uses voxels or um, volume elements. It's like Minecraft. Basically, instead of a, a, an empty shell, such as a model is, it, it fills this up and creates the um, model based off of that. Uh, there's quad, uh, Quaternion and Linear. Quaternion is like a different, it's like a newer algorithm. It tends to not lose mass, but it's also more expensive computationally. Uh, video games generally do not support it, as far as I know. Um, and we're just going to use Linear, because it's much more straightforward. Never use Post, it sucks. Interactive is normal. Uh, trust me, I'll just leave out that. This is fine too. Max Influences, we want to use three. Most of the time, almost all of your joints, like if you look at like the knee here, it's only going to get affected by the upper thigh and the lower leg. There's, it's only two things. Um, very rarely are there any more than that. So if you look at here, like this thigh, the butt could be affected by this and the hips and maybe the next one, the shoulder. Um, almost all of them are two, but we'll put in three just as a catch-all. Okay. Turn off maintain max influences. That just is going to cause issue. Remove un unused influences. That's obvious. This just makes it rainbow bright. It just changes the color of the skeleton after it's been bound. And honestly affects it in no way. I don't care. You can click on it if it makes you happy. Fall off. I'm just going to leave it at point 0.2. Um, resolution. Um, so you can do 64, 120. High resolution, longer it takes. Um, but generally the more accurate. Uh, I'm just going to go 256. For yours, you could do 256. Try 512. Probably be fine. Um, you make sure you save before you do this because this is one of those things that might make it crash. We're in it bind skin, and you can see it working down here, uh, and it's computing, and there it goes. So now, if I were to bend any of these things, you're going to notice that it is now bound to the skeleton. Okay. Lastly, what we need to do is select this, and then we're going to go over here, and we're going to create, and you do control rig. Now, mind you, once you do this, you can't undo anything you've done before. Honestly, now that you bound it, you really can't either. So you can go back to a previous... Like, if you realize something was misplaced, go back to a previous save uh, and fix it there and then go back through the process. But we're going to go ahead and click Control Rig, and that's going to make the rig for us. And now we have all the controls and things that we would want um, in order to, uh, you know, uh, work on our dude here okay so basically all the business has now been done and uh we are good on that okay so now your character has been officially um uh bound to this uh piece of geometry okay so that's all good makes me feel warm and fuzzy uh the next thing that we're going to do and i'm just going to use the shoulder because this is like the number one thing that's always an issue um, is that you're going to look is at the default weights, although they did a decent job and you might not think they did. Um, this is pretty good, honestly, uh, although they did a pretty okay job. Um, the shoulder is just always a problem. So if you watch, right, that's not quite right, you know, and it's just as bad going up. So basically what I need to do is I need to fix the weight of this. All right. Um, and I'll do that right in the next video.